Rams. It is me, Reaction World. Back to you guys with another day of reaction. Thank you guys for stopping by again. And for you new viewers, thank you guys for clicking on my face. But let's get down to your reaction. So I was watching uh, the Talk Goal, it's a YouTube channel, and they did a video on 10 things guys wish girls knew. And to think of 10 things I wish girls knew was, if I have to call one out right now is, I need them to know how hard it is to uh, hit on them. To actually have the guts to go uh, talk to them, flirt with them, ask for their number, that takes guts. Sorry girls, that takes guts. If girls did that to me, came up to me and asked, asked flirted with me and asked for my number, I would give her my number, my email, and all my freaking uh, social media because that takes guts. So I'm excited to see this video, so let's get right into it. Before we do that, hit that like and subscribe button if you guys do enjoy the video. So let's get right into it. Let's go. All right, let's do it. There are things about women that men will never understand, but when it comes to decoding your men, it may be easier than you think. From what they mean when they ask for more space to how to argue fairly, True. these are 10 things guys wish girls knew. If this is your first time visiting us, don't forget to yeah. click the red subscribe, subscribe button to see more videos like this Come one. <laughs> Making the first move. Yes, like I was talking, I'm surprised they actually, I just picked the first one. A real fear of rejection, especially if they really like the girl. Many men would love for a girl to make the first move and show that she's actually interested. This is not only great for a guy's ego, but the chances of him saying yes are high because he understands and respects. I respect it. Takes to ask <laughs> Takes guts. Else. They need space. It's no surprise men need their space. Eh, that's kind of true. It's true. The the but they get is, mad. Most of the time, girls take it yes. Away. When a guy says he wants space, your first reaction is usually to cling on to them as if he's done something wrong. This completely backfires. He doesn't mean anything personal. Guys just need time and space. We need time and space so if your for guy video says games. He needs space, give it to him. Chances are he's just going through something or wants some alone time. Going through something. A woman in control. Whether it's women in control that's a maybe that's a maybe having to call the shots this can get very boring and sometimes they want we like bossy girls when it comes to like eating out taking initiative here in the bedroom um making ordering us to do stuff now I, that's where I draw a line it, it's it's a borderline you could I like it when they're uh bossy but not that boss girl cry is a guy's worst nightmare and it's something that all women know many times women will cry in an argument even if it doesn't warrant such an emotional response. that's a lie unwarranted they don't happens, men feel like they are girls don't cry of course, i cry he will feel bad to stop an argument you when that is emotional stop the argument just to make you stop crying but that doesn't mean the argument is over in their minds <laughs> thinking about the future Though it may not seem like it, guys are always thinking about the future. Just not the I want to, but there I'm scared of the future. Before they can even begin That's true. Some guys, you. yeah, a lot of guys do think about the future, but not all of them. In their careers, men want to make sure they have the security to take care of a wife and family. Though he may not tell you this, men are always working to obtain these mental milestones so they can get to the fun true. stuff, like planning a life and a family with you. Overly giddy. This is one thing guys just don't understand about girls. When you see your friends, I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry, girls, but when when a girl's like screams as soon as they see their friends, like scream so where everyone in the room looks. No, they aren't telling you to stop. Kind of like feels weird because it's like. With the rise of metrosexual men, it's no secret that men are beginning to care about their appearance. Not me. The difference between men and women is women dress to impress other women, yet men dress to get the girls. Guys are actually worrying about what you think about their hair, um, skin, weight, and maybe? clothes. Maybe? They may not ever tell you, but if you take the time to compliment a guy on his looks, they would love it. Men are just like women. They need to know they are good looking. <laughs> Leave down the comments. Go unnoticed. Am I pretty? <laughs> Just like you, men aren't mind readers. From trying to tell if you're interested to figuring out what to get you for Christmas, men are horrible at receiving hints. If you want something, I suck from guy, at receiving hints. Him. And if you're dropping hints like crazy and still don't get what you are hinting, if you guys are hitting at me, it'll take me a year to find that out. There's actually scientific evidence that men have a harder time deciphering emotions when they look at a woman's eyes compared to when they look at a man's eyes. Arguments are null after seven days. One dirty tactic women have been using in arguments for centuries is bringing up the past. This is a major pet peeve to men and is completely unfair in their eyes. When you resort to past arguments, it feels like you are doing so for the sake of winning an argument, yeah. which doesn't solve the problem at hand. Remember to fight fair. And fight fair, girl. Don't bring up the time I wet the bed. 
There is something the about past. <laughs> I never went to bed. Suddenly get competitive. If you are um. giving another man praise or okay, maybe when I was seven. Because I was seven. Probably won't admit it, but men want to be the one to receive all your attention, and when it's given to someone else, it may boost their ego. Try to give your guy a boost in social settings by touching their arm or giving them a compliment. Give me compliments. Tell me I'm pretty. Are you surprised by anything? Like all right, guys. So that was ten things guys wish girls knew, and. Yes, I gotta give this a hundred, like an eight out of ten. Eight of those are hard on true. Oh my god, especially when it goes down to <laughs> we want compliments. If I hi get highlights, tell me it's ugly or pretty. <laughs> I don't know why guys get highlights. I have a friend that had straight black hair, and now the bottom part's all black, but all top is blonde. I don't get why guys do that. Ugh. Because they wanna, they wanna impress girls. Do, question of the day: Do girls like it when guys dye their hair a different color, so they're like black down here and then blonde up here? Do girls like that? I need to know. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and I, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to do ten things girls wish guys knew. If you guys want that, leave a like down below, leave it down in the comments, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. So, like always, peace out.